All right, Shalom. All right, I'm just back out here again, you know, uh, doing another Godspeed, lowering this edifying for the elect. All right, but before I get started, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. All right, and like I said, just back out here again, you know, doing another Godspeed, you know, and lowering this, uh, this edifying. And the topic is going to be um, the focus is salvation. All right, and the focus. You know, for us in this truth, all right, for, for, for the uh, sincere brothers in this truth that are fighting, you know, uh, uh, day and night, you know, for salvation, to, to stay on that right path, all right? The focus is salvation, all right? We're not we're not focused on anything of this world, you know, we're not focused on, you know, uh, 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 what, 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 what him or her, you know, what they got going on. You know, if they're not in this truth, hey, Yahweh Shah said it best, you know, uh, who, who is my, my father, my mother, my brother, my sister, those that do the will of my father. All right, that's who we're concerned about, you know, because we're all on the same path, which is salvation. So the focus is salvation. All right, and I'm going to start in uh, Second Ezra chapter nine. <clears throat> Second Ezra nine and verse uh, seven. It says, uh, "And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed." All right, so the only way that, you know, that you're going to escape the things that, that Yahweh, which that's the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, and the name Yahweh Shai, which is the Messiah, the only begotten Son. The only way that you're going to be able to escape the judgment of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, is by your works and by your faith. All right, and like it says in the book of, I believe it's James, uh, the second chapter, you know, uh, faith without works is dead, you know. You can't have uh, uh, faith. You can't have faith and not works. All right, and you can't have works without faith. They go hand in hand, all right? And that's why that's why we're out here, you know? That's why, you know, you see the camp. That's why we're out here. We're showing our, our, our faith by our works, all right? So if you're focused on salvation, you know, if if you're uh, salvation-driven, if you will, hey, you're going to be doing doing the things that are pleasing to the Lord, all right? Which is, you know, teaching this word, being brotherly, all right? Having uh, charity, okay? Being humble, because the Lord said he, he, he uh, delights in, in, you know, being humble, you know, roughly paraphrasing. You know, he, he resists the proud. So if you do these things, those are those works whereby you will be saved, all right? I'll read it one more time, Second Ezra 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. So we're trying to escape the judgment of the Lord, which is ultimately nuclear destruction, all right? That's how Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, is going to be destroyed by nuclear destruction. The only way to escape that is by faith and by works, all right? Verse 8, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So we're going to be uh, preserved from the said perils. Like I mentioned, you know, uh, the destruction, the nuclear destruction. That's one of the, the main perils that, that's coming on the planet Earth, all right? Even before that, uh, you know, you had the time known as Jacob's Trouble. You know, where, where all hell is going to break loose, society is going to collapse, all right? Cannibalism, uh, famine, you know, uh, uh, a wild beast, you know, tearing people up. All right, all these, these terrible things are coming. And, and, and hey, like verse 7 said, you know, the only way to escape it and to be preserved from it is by faith and by works, all right? So it says, uh, I'm going to skip down to verse 13. It says, therefore, uh, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when. So, you know, don't be, you know, so concerned about these people in the world, you know, like your family members, you know, the people on your job, your, your old friends or whatever, you know, don't be so concerned about them. Con, don't be so concerned about them because, you know, hey, the scripture says work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. OK, so we need to be more so focused on salvation, on what we need to do to get right. What do I need to do? All right. You need to repent to you. How about Shimmy? How was I? You know, and I'm, I say you, but really we, you know, we, we, we repent daily. We need a daily repent to you. How about Shimmy? How was I? You know, send up a prayer. Ask the Lord, you know, Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me for all my sins. You know, save me. You know, that's, that's our concern. You know, salvation. It says, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Who's the world is and for whom the world is created. So your main concern shall be, how is the righteous going to escape this? You know, how, what am I going to do to get on the Lord's good side to not be destroyed? That's, that's, that should be, that's, that's what you should inquire or ask about, you know? All right, so next scripture I'm going to get is Proverbs 22 and 3. I'm going to try to get these fast. All right, Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 3. 
It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So we know that the simple are going to be punished. So, you know, we shouldn't be so worried about these simple people. They're going to be punished. What we should be worried about is being prudent, all right? Like it says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. How are you going to hide yourself? Uh, Psalms 91, you know, he that, that, that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, that's hiding ourselves in his truth and in the, in the scriptures, all right? That's how you hide yourself. All right. And, and like I said, by, by doing the works and to show your faith, to get on the Lord's good side, that's how you hide yourself. All right. We see we, we see the evil coming. All right. We see that this place is going to be destroyed. That this place doesn't have too much longer, you know. So having that mindset, you know, what manner of person are you to be? All right. I'm going to end off with this. All right. Uh, this is Matthew chapter seven and verse verse 13 it says enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go when they're at all right as many you know the majority of the people on the planet earth you know are is going to be destroyed you know so hey our concern is about the righteous how are we going to be saved you know how am i going to obtain salvation verse 14 because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. So only a very few select men, women, and children are going to make it. All right. And we're hoping we're a part of that number. So Lowell in this lesson was edifying and comforting to the elect. Once again, giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakudash, Shalom.